Undead Arisen, and we couldn't be happier. Here's our review of a game all about people who love to eat people. Stubbs the Zombie. Who is the zaniest, likes to eat our brains and us stubs? Some say perfect is a place where the mass graves are well hidden. Welcome to Fruit Bowl, where the wieners are hot, the grass is green, and the dead would love to know what's on your mind. Mmm, is that a tinge of saffron? You rascal. Stems the zombie is stumbling towards a console near you, and apparently he's got one thing on his mind. Brain! Fruit Bowl is the perfect lab to vise reality, complete with all the members of society that bring out the Columbine in everybody. <laughs> An egotistical billionaire, his mother, dimly brainlit flatfoots, jocks, and the things that mate with them. They're all here, and they all deserve to supply the main ingredient to Stubbs's and his pal's tuna noodle casserole. After a tough birth through the turf of Fruit Bowl, Stubbs is introduced to the ample charms of the city by a friendly robot guide. Once the tutorial appetizer is over, you'll pretty much dip Mr. Stubbs's incisors into every freshly shampooed head you see to scoop a delectable dollop of the main course. The characters and story are a cartoonishly inventive cannibalistic carnival of wicked snickers and luscious grimness. The soundtrack contains an oddly gathered gaggle of indie organ donors like Death Cap for Cutie and The Flaming Lips, all in plasma-separating stereo people. After a while, you may start to think the game may have something in common with Stubbs' slightly undimensional diet. The challenge pretty much flees in a fast car after your first 20 or so cabezas have been cracked and the pensa polenta within sucked out. The title does throw some interesting diversions your way. Stubbs' diet consists of brains, so you can imagine the wistful gaze generated by being in proximity to the gases of his nether exit. Hands where I can see him. When Stubbs lofts an air biscuit, the stench citizenry become frozen by his odious aromatherapy, enabling Stubbs to get the drop on their domes. Stubbs can also remove his head and use it like a bowling ball, which is always fun. Stubbs can whip his internal organs your way with explosive results. And probably the most fun was Stubbs' ability to remove his arm to either take over people's identities or weapons. Stubbs can commandeer certain vehicle types, too. They handle badly and only distract your sadistic glee for an instant before you just want to get back to chowing noggins. After a while, the unflossed fangs of tedium will begin breaking through your scalp, and you'll know Stubbs' life will soon be over. Stubbs is also short. There's really no big dessert other than some co-op play that may tickle your Brodeo bone for a while. We love Stubbs the character. We just like the game to really consume our brains more than our funny bones. So remember, kids, never eat anything bigger than your head. Or my head. We give it a three. Out of five. Who is the zaniest, likes to eat our brains and us Stubbs? Oh, yes, he does. Did my head just throw up your head? That is correct. It's bound to happen. We wanted to like this game more, but after a while, eating brains just got boring, and eating brains should never be boring. And speaking of eating brains, the lyrics to a schoolyard funeral song come to mind. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinochle on your snout. <laughs>